Imagine my surprise when I found out there's an award-winning novel based on my formative years. I'm J.L. Rainey, to everyone except my mama, who still calls me Jason Lee. This story I'm talking about begins back in 1974 in my hometown of Hadley, Mississippi, a place no bigger than a flea turd on the map. We lived on 13 acres outside of town, just me and my mama and her brother, Uncle Mooks. Uncle Mooks had served in Vietnam and came back with a nasty head wound and some peculiar wisdom. He liked to say, the clock of life's always ticking towards the funeral parlor. I guess he gets credit for the title. My favorite part of the story is how spot on it captures the relationship I had with my best pal, Samson. But being friends made us prime targets due to deep-rooted attitudes. There were times when figuring out what was right and wrong was as hard as holding on to water. Beyond our moonshine meetings and counterfeiting activities, I've spent my whole life grateful for the things he taught me, like how to be strong enough to ignore what wasn't important, and dreaming was only the first step. My daddy was killed in the same war that damaged Uncle Mooks. I carry his name, but never really knew about the man, until the day I came across the journal he wrote during the time he participated in the Selma to Montgomery March back in 1965. Through that discovery, he taught me the choices you make define who you are. And everyday folks really can make a difference. Don't miss this award-winning novel by Nancy Clan Morin about choosing to do the right thing just because it's right.